Okay. Yeah. So it w- well, it was never really meant to be a slick piece of nice design, you know, done on a done on a CAD program and you know made in nice brush stainless steel. That was never my style anyway. Um, I'm I'm much more interested in quite a robust aesthetic. Um, that's just how my sort of sculptural style emerges. So, I mean, with this, it's it's, it's partly partly inspired by you know electricity pylons. I mean, it's going quite near an actual electricity pylon. So there's a you know there's there's a mirroring there. And also, it's you know I love I love cranes and I love bridges and and in a way it's a sort of it's that kind of man-made object, but but rendered in a, a naturalistic form. You know, if uh, you know, uh, if if I were a if I were a girder and I wanted to split into three in a very organic and a genetic way, you know, this is how I would how I would evolve. You know, and also it's and it, it's it's based on fractals. I mean, the original idea with with this with this project was was that it would be um, a completely dismantleable and resizable object so that every every particular element is self-similar to the next element above and below, just at a different scale. So this tree essentially can be made at any size. It can be disassembled. Uh, we can make a whole load more components. It can be reassembled three times the size or nine times the size. And... I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, I think I've covered it. Yeah. That kind of leads me on a little bit then.